Hello everyone, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Musab Sayed and I'm your trainer for Linux in Gautam Digital Learning. In this series, we are working on so many troubleshooting issues. Now again, I'm here with a very important troubleshooting issues that if you have lost a logical volume or maybe the entire volume group, how we can bring it back with, of course, data. So what we are waiting for, let's go to our Linux machine and let's start working on recovering the lost LV or VG in LV. So here we go. See, for our labs, I have already created a physical volume and this I have used with a volume group. And in this volume group, I have created two logical volume. One is my app and the other one is my DB. Now, if I take you to their mount point, I have created a mount point with the name my app where I have mounted my app LV and same way, I have created my DB where I have kept all my database stuff. Now assume as we are human, we do sometimes mistakes. Maybe by mistake, I have deleted the logical volume and it contain a very important data. I wanted to recover it back. How can I recover it back? Now for our reference, I'll take one LV, maybe I'll work with database. So I'll go with my DB and here one of the file, let's edit. So I'm going to take VI editor DB55. In this, I'll say, hey there, this is my database file. Let me save and quit. So in here, I'm having my DB file with some data and so many other files are also available. Now let us say by mistake, unintentionally, we deleted the LV. To delete the LV, as you know, first you have to unmount the LV. If I say LV display dev my VG and DB LV. So if you just look into that, my DB, you will find out that right now, the LV is open. Open means it is mounted. So in order to unmount it, we'll say umount slash my DB. Now if you go back to same LV and check it out, it says zero. That means it is unmounted. Now I need to delete the LV. And what's the command to delete the LV? LV remove and maybe I'll do it forcefully slash dev my VG my DB. And you see, I have deleted the LV. That means the data that was there inside it is also deleted. Now assume that I want to bring back my lost LV. How I'm going to bring back the LV? See, there is a fantastic option in LVM. LVM always take the backups and it keeps the backup for us. Where it keeps? You have to go to etc LVM archive. This is the place where you will find point in time backup. What do you mean by point in time backup? Backup exact time. So and so time it will take the backup and it will keep it. For example, if you just check, there are files with some timestamp. So what I'll do, I'll say ls hyphen l t r long form with timestamp and in reverse order. Recently used file should come at the last so that I can be sure from which file I have to retrieve the data. Now, if you look out over here, this is my last file which has been created as a backup. Now, using this backup, I can actually restore back my lost LV. So you can use the command vgcfg restore. Now, which file or which VG you are targeting, my VG. In this, there is a lost LV. And what is the file that you are going to take? The file name is my VG. And first, I'm going to do a test. Now, here you see it is telling us that the volume group is active. Okay. It has found one volume inside it. Now, do you really want it to go ahead and restore it? It says yes. The moment I say yes, this is going to tell you 
that the volume group has restored something. Now, if you check out, there is nothing being restored. Why? The reason over here is I have done a test. The moment you do test, it's just a dry run. It's just a preview. Nothing is actually going to restore back. Now, if you really want to restore it back, repeat the command without test. So I'm telling restore my VG with the help of this file. The moment I hit enter, again the question comes simply answer it yes now if you check lvs you see my db is back isn't it beautiful you just go back and check lv display slash dev my vg and my db you see it is back but it is not active that's what the warning was telling it was telling us that your lv will be restored but it won't be act doesn't matter we can activate it how to activate it you have to say lv change hyphen a do you want to activate it yes which lv the lv name is slash dev my vg and my db that's it now you go back and check lv display you see it's now active but it is not mounted to mount this lv you have already given the entry in fs tab so you can just use that mount point name to mount it let's say mount slash my db that's it now you go to slash my db you'll see all your data is here now read db5 and you see your data is completely back so in this case we have just restored the missing lvs now assume on a broader term you have destroyed the whole volume group can i restore back the whole volume group again of course you can do it how let's see see this time i'm going to unmount both LVs. One is my DB and the other one is my app. Both LVs we have created. Now if you say LV display, it displays all the LV. As you can see my app is showing zero. That means it is unmounted. And my DB that is also showing zero. That is also unmounted. Now in a single attempt, I'm going to delete the volume group and I'm also going to delete all the LVs inside it. What's the command to delete volume group and LVs together? You can say VG remove forcefully. Which VG? My VG. Now observe here all the LVs will be deleted and finally the volume group will also be deleted. Now again I want to restore back my VG and my LV. So go to etc LVM archive. In this archive you can again see there is a point in time backup. The latest backup file is here. The same trick I'll apply. I'll say VG CFG restore. Which VG you are restoring? My VG. From which file? The file name is what you have copied from here. So select it. It will get copied and right click will paste it. Always there is a great idea. You test it first. So it says it will be restored but LVs will be deactivated. Doesn't matter. I'll say restore it back. Now you see it has restored my volume group. It has restored my logical volume. The only thing is your logical volume may not be activated so we need to activate them manually how to activate them lv change activate it yes which lv dev my vg my db and dev my vg my app both are now activated go back with lv display command and you see now they are available to mount both the lv or in fact everything you can simply use mount hyphen a mount hyphen a will go to etc fs tab and all the entries that have not yet mounted will automatically get mounted now you go back to your lv go to my app your data is back you go to my db your data is back in fact you can go to my db and read the file db5 and you'll see that the data is back so this is the way you can restore back the logical volumes and the volume groups that have been deleted accidentally or maybe due to some other intentions so i hope you have learned a very important troubleshooting today do come back for more such important videos to Gotham Digital Learning. This is your trainer Musab saying you goodbye. See you soon. Thank you very much.